Hey, it's Katie, and welcome back to BioAnt's News. And welcome to our first news and review video. I'm Sierra, and we've got a lot of really interesting headlines to talk to you about today. A big mystery is on its way to being solved. Researchers recently uncovered files suggesting that Amelia Earhart's skeleton matches one found on the tiny Pacific island Nikumororo in 1940. Now the challenge is for forensic anthropologists to determine if the skeleton's measurements matches up to what Amelia's may have been. And on a sadder note, the Growers gorilla now has a population that justifies critically endangered status. War, violence, and mining in the Democratic Republic of the Congo have depleted about 80% of the subspecies population. Some great conservation efforts will be needed to preserve them. You know, let's hope they're successful. Anyway, our big headline for you today is about male birth control. This has gotten a lot of attention in the Facebook group over the last month. An article published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism reported that newly developed male birth control shots for men are nearly as effective as the pill for women. However, there seems to be a lot of hesitation because of the potential side effects that they could cause. That includes mood changes, pain at the injection site, acne, and depression. 20 out of 320 men removed themselves from the study, and an external review board later discontinued it completely due to what they felt were safety concerns. But women experience these same side effects from birth control. I know, right? Well, most of our users, men and women alike, seem to be excited about the prospect of male birth control shots. Some were pretty adamant that these shots stay off the market until depression was ruled out as a potential side effect. The ensuing debate on our Facebook page centered on a lot of issues related to bioanthropology. Users debated the notion of shared responsibility in reproduction, sex-based patriarchal double standards, and the incidence of depression among men and women. Now, you might be wondering if these male birth control shots actually work. In the efficacy phase of the trial, only four of 266 men conceived for their partners. Many of the men in the BioAnth Facebook group seemed eager to try these shots if it meant that they'd have a bigger role in the shared responsibility of hormonal contraception. So take a few minutes to figure out your thoughts on this new development. Was it right to halt research on the study? What do you think this says about disparities between men and women in society? Click the link in the description to follow up on the original article and read for yourself. This is a huge innovation that we're bound to be hearing more of in the near future. Stay tuned so that you're at the forefront of the discussion. Thanks for watching our first news and review. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe.